Okay, right, I don't know how many hours I've tried to do this, but I'll well, try and compact it within 10 minutes. Here we go. Hubson H501S. Hubson H501SS. Now, until sort of probably, probably about 28 hours now ago, Hubson official put out the differences between this and this. I would like to just add a couple of differences that they sort of missed out and also just point out the problem that I have with this. To start off with, the camera is terrible. That is actually the image. That is my bench and that is the image it's giving. Not very good for FPV. Not very good for you or me. I'm being a bit of a poet. Okay, so check gyro sensor. That's all it does. It just sits on that. Okay, don't move the aircraft. I know I just did that, but it makes no difference. It's been sat like that for like 10 minutes. Um, now, a few differences. One on this, the camera protrudes out like that. It's a little bit rough around the edges. I don't think it's supposed to be visible, those edges. They're like coal. And there's the in the shell you can see there's like a cutaway and maybe there should be something nice it's like the camera that was on the other one let me just back that out and go into here that all fits nicely fits nicely so that looks like it was all designed around components and the shell and everything this one looks like the camera's been designed for something else and then just used on this but anyway, so there's that little bit. These are a little bit more smooth as compared to these ones. They claim white at the front, but that is the front, and it doesn't really seem too white to me because of the way it comes through. That's what it looks like as well. You know, in, in real life, it probably looks a little bit more pinkier than it does on there. Because it looks a lot whiter in the middle of the light uh, than it does, you know, to my eyes, it looks a bit pinkier in there. So there's that. The antenna for here will not fit. It will fit on your other controller, but you'll find that you'll get a hundred yards less probably out and you'll have no control. That's because the that's a female connector on that antenna. And on your controller, on the other type of controller, standard, it's a female uh, socket. So you're just not putting anything into anything. That don't work very well. So that's another, another something you want to look out for. And of course, the main thing, I think, personally, is the fact that there's a lot of hardware changes inside here. So it's not all interchangeable. That's not such a good thing, because... I've been ordering parts for this, and I'm not going to know until they get here. From a, it doesn't seem to be such a slow boat anymore. But from China, whether the parts I get could be for this, because it's not advertised. This wasn't advertised as an SS. This was just a S. And the components are not being advertised as S's or SS's. So the flight controller that's coming for here may not work with this I don't know but if it doesn't work with this it will work with this and as this one seems to be fried because I didn't look at that video I didn't know that um, the flight control update stuff that I have um, the latest firmware for this wasn't going to be suitable for this that's why that's it's stuck on this because this did fly and the camera works fine when it's been looked through my other controller and it did fly and it was fine but when I got home last night because I just wanted to make sure it got the latest software in it I did have the issue I didn't realize about the antennas I put both antennas in my bag and I pulled that one out and I put it on the other controller it was giving me close-up flight it was great I sent it out a bit I lost control the wind was coming my way, it blew it back over me, and I just, I, I, I got control. I just, I just dropped on the other controller. I just, uh, it wasn't very high, and I just dropped the, uh, turned the motors off. 
I didn't even try to attempt anything else. I just let it drift above me and I was just waiting for it and I just went for the motors um, and it just turned off when I, I passed the controller to my mate and just quickly uh, caught it. So that's all good, you know. So, but then I thought, well, because it's got a bit of an issue, I'll just do firmware update. Probably that's what it's going to be. Yeah, it's firmware updates. It wouldn't do the update. I set up the you know the toolkit two version two, and update toolkit, and it loaded the file. But when I clicked to update, it just sat there doing nothing for about thirty seconds, and then just come up with update error. Uh, and that was it. So I thought to myself, I got a bunch of batteries charged. I get out first thing this morning. I woke up. It was sunshiny. I was, I was straight up, straight up, washed up. Got myself out of there. Didn't even have breakfast. And uh, the damn thing won't fly. So it's going to have important changes on the inside to know what's going to be suitable for repairs and what's not. Um, it's got the, the camera thing going on, you've got to be aware of that in case you do for any reason. I didn't have a battery for this. Oh, and that's loose as well. That actually turns. Now, I've had one of these sent to me not that long ago because it's it had a crash and I changed the shell for a YouTube viewer actually. And his camera also protruded but it didn't move about that's got definite movement on it maybe it's in some sort of sponge to help um, you know with vibration which is okay I suppose then because if you've got any vibration coming from your props or anything coming from here I know there's a nice little bit of a flex in here so that's going to absorb some as well uh, that'd be quite good as well so it'd be quite interesting to see what it's like with itself I didn't actually have PV with it yesterday I just had it going around uh, in, a, in a field with, with a friend just playing around with it so hmm uh, good things to be aware of good things to be aware of I hope I've covered everything and I hope I've done it within time yes hold on for a second uh, there is just something I, another matter I'm going to connect up the uh, the other controller in a, in a second and just show you that the cameras work fine but just for now I just want to show you I've connected this up to a power supply okay and I, I thought I'd explain this when I did a video before about upgrading the batteries uh, in the other controller and why I didn't use a buck converter. And the reason why I didn't use a buck converter is because your board, this controller, the other controller, is going to be using a certain amount of power when it runs. Now, if you want that board to use more current, you have less voltage. If you want it to use less current, you have a higher voltage. So when I put my batteries in, rather than use a buck converter and convert it down to 6 volts, I allowed it to go at the 8.4 fully charged, down to the 7 point, well 6.9 that it would run to, um, on the batteries. And that would still be more power than what you would have had if you would have just pencil batteries in there. But this is why, this is why I'll show you, and there's a basic demonstration here. So this will run and the battery won't be beeping at you until you go one step down from 7.9 volts. So if I go to 7.8, uh, let me just do it so you can see that. Okay. But look at the amp as well. So 0.36, so 360 milliamp. And as I start going up the voltage, watch the current draw go down. Yeah, so we're going to get up to 12 volt. So as you're, if you're on a 12 volt battery, you're going to be using less current than if you're using an 8 volt battery. And there you go. So that's why I didn't use a buck converter. Because one, when you put the buck converter in, start you're adding some more electronics to your system. That's going to cost to be in there. If it's got a 96, 94, 96% efficiency, you're still lost a little bit in that conversion. And then if you've got LEDs on it as well, you're going to be using milliamps to be running those. And as you're already using a few milliamps anyway for the entire system, why run more milliamps off on the, the buck converters? So it's not a diss to anybody out there that wants to do that, but if 
for me it was about conserving power for my batteries to my controller rather than other things I went without the buck converter one because I understand this ratio equals power and um, it didn't really matter even I got to the lowest part of these particular batteries it was still enough power to fully run the, the controller so even when I, I had to swap the battery out and because it was running in tune as well it was, uh, it was going to the red when this was on 7 volt and that's ideal for me because then when it's flashing red and there's absolutely nothing there um, I know that to change the battery and it's still at you know, between sort of, uh, sort of 6.8 and 7 volts which is great so there we go that's it, I think I'm going to be back and have a little think and see if there's anything else to add. Right, so I'm just going to, let me come back and do this on. Yeah, I might just hold, I'll just hold it for the next second, see, so just pressing that um, photo button, turn the power on, keeping the photo button, pressed in all the time, leave it for an extra second, and then uh, you'll have your mind to play. Let's see if I can just do this. There's no fucking one getting blind by him. Okay, is that going to be close enough? Yep, that was close enough. Okay. And as you can see there, look. The camera works fine. Looks a bit... Okay, let's sit back on top of there. It looks a little bit, uh, I was going to say, I'm mean, really careful because all these things are in there, I do need to have a good old tidy up this afternoon. Um, it doesn't look that clear, but I think that's, that is actually sort of clear enough. That could be down to a dodgy, that's, that could be down to a dodgy, uh, Trying to see how clear that is or isn't. But that doesn't really seem. Look, it's not focusing. And the camera's focused. You can see where it says check gyro, that's focused. And so the camera isn't really. I'm just trying to go across the top of those batteries. That's focused there, but just. In Go the right way. I'll just pull it away now just to see if there's a point where it will focus. Okay, now let's see if this thing on the front, because it seems a bit wobbly, let's see if it's got anything to do with the focusing. So, looking at that. It does, to my eyes, it looks off focus. On there, it may not seem like it's that bad because by the time it gets you know, rendered and then go through the YouTube video process, the whole thing might look a bit dodgy, but it doesn't look focused. And that is certainly not how that camera works. That camera's got a lovely, lovely thing on it. So I'm just going to have a little, I'm going to put that there just because it's easy for me to see while I just put my fingers on the front of there and just see if it sort of moves and. Going to focus any better. Sorry if I'm not pointing at the right place. Just all I'm doing is just giving a little tiny bit of pressure on this, just because it does got a little tiny bit moving. I'm just seeing it moves one way and makes any difference at all to the focus, and it's not. It's not. Is there anything on the front? I can. I took the sticker off because. That made the difference and well I don't think it's as good a picture as what's on here. But I won't be able to test that until it is out. So so far with this it's not been the greatest of times and I know it's probably I could give myself a bit of the blame for not knowing that this was an SS. I didn't want to say SS, because that's, I still have negative overtones from, you know, middle of the last century, or start to the middle. Anyway, let's, um, so, uh, 
this um, it's not been very good ride so far. He didn't come with these propellers. These are from that one because that one was black. Remember, and then I changed the shell over. Um, and you don't need to remove the wire to the flight controller from the power board to change the shell over. Just in case, you know, anybody thought that was anything to do with because Hubson seemed to think that maybe that was a, a loose wire that caused this to do what it did. And I've tried to tell them that there was absolutely nothing wrong with that connection. And it was quite hard actually to get the wire out because you had to get rid of all that rubber stuff that they put on and then undo that clip thing and pull it out. It was all nice and firm, it was lovely. But they seem to think for some reason, without actually uh, asking me whether that seemed to be the case, whether that maybe the wire was loose. And when this is clipped the ground, the wire's loose, it's caused then it, the wire to burn. Burn out and burn the wire completely in half the cable. Only one wire in the cable, uh, but at two points on two uh, on two on, on two points. I should probably unpeel this. No, I, I did it. There's a there's actually a photo you can see it on the uh, on the thing in the the video if I put the video up. God damn it! Right. Uh, just to show you yeah, that the video does work from here. It's not as focused. I don't think as this video as this camera and I hope there is maybe some way of adjusting that or I hope that it does look better from maybe a distance maybe it doesn't matter if it's that focused in but to be honest here that's not really as focused as the other camera I'm going to have to put a bloody battery in that now, aren't I? And connect it, because I think that still comes on. Yeah, hold on. Hmm. Forgive the noise, but I'm hoping you can see that this camera has a lot better focus. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? I mean, I, I, I oh, sorry. You should be able to see that that's got a lot better focus than if we go over those batteries again. Let's see if I can get that right. Is that focused there? Yeah. It's definitely having a hard old time, that one, isn't it? Yep, definitely throwing up a protest, that one is. I'm having a proper dirty old protest. But it doesn't, well, I, have, I don't actually have the flight controller connected now. I took the cable out. But it still does the same thing with the cable there or the cable not. So there's a... <sighs> oh, I just don't know if the one that's coming will fit into this. And... Oh, know, sakes. I was really hoping I was just going to go another 501. I was hoping the parts would be interchangeable. Um, I, I give her, you know, the motors will still be fine and the shell and stuff, but it's going to be a little, like this hardware that you're not going to be able to swap about. And especially if it comes down to the FC, you know, the main board part here. Um, that's not, I know that's not connected, it's just it's caught inside the bloody wire, isn't it? So I've had it all oh, wow, so many times now. So look, it's just caught up. Yeah, so there we go. But it's most definitely, I, I, I do look, you see the way the camera is in there? Because it's, you see the two screws, the sort of camera that sits back into that, and then that little plate goes across the, the top of it and clamps it all into place. And that's why you can't move it around in there. And it's going to be the same in the other one. And so you, you can't push the camera back. Like I said, I had a repair coming, and I, I had to swap the body shell over, and I tried to see if I could actually push it back for him, so it sat in there nicer. Um, but it just doesn't. It's like it's just the wrong size. An afterthought, um, but not using a redesign to a different camera, just using an existing camera that looks okay. But that's not why we buy these things, is it? We buy these because the sleek looks and everything, and to me... I don't really like it like that, but other people may like it, and that's you know, that's their that's their 
choice, and that's fine. That's, you know, I just prefer it um, nice and flush, or even just slightly satin like that one. Here you go. That's 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 what I got for you on this. I hope some of this could be or may not be uh, could be helpful to you. Uh, <clears throat> if you like, please give a thumbs up, and um, and I'll keep you up to date. I'll let you know when the flight control board comes in with this, how far I get with this, hopefully it will just go on and work um, and I'll keep you informed what I can say about the other one, unless I just send it back because there is that with that as well so 